this video, I'll be talking about another three gates of Netzach. All three of these gates are focused around the hidden path from Tiferet down to Netzach. Um, <clears throat> now, what this hidden path signifies are the threads of continuity that emerge from the solitary self and influence the personality, basically. These are the threads of continuity that unite each incarnation. Now remember, the astral body exists, the water region of the temporal mental body exists only because the solitary self is coming into manifestation, temporal, you know, uh, physical manifestation. It exists only because of that, and each astral body will exist only for one incarnation. So, as we come into incarnation, the astral body forms. When we die, the physical body disintegrates, and the astral body likewise disintegrates after the physical body, and we return to awareness as just the solitary self, okay? So this is a temporary body, and each incarnation, there are threads, there's continuity from one incarnation to the next, from one personality to the next. There's similarities. I don't know if you've ever met a reincarnation of someone you previously had known. Um, so a good friend dies, and then years later you meet their reincarnation. And you will notice similarities, often in appearance, and most definitely in personality. Similarities, but the personality is different in each incarnation because the circumstances of one's life are different in each incarnation, and that helps to shape the personality, okay? But there are core parts to our personality that we carry with us from lifetime to lifetime. They evolve slowly, but they are recognizable as being part of the continuity of lifetimes. And that's what this hidden path is all about, and the other hidden path that comes from Tiferet down to Hoth. This is also a threads of continuity from one lifetime to the next. So that's what this core path of these three gates is all about. So the, the first gate, naturally, is just a linear gate. You start in Tiferet, descend down the hidden path into Netzach, and then return. Now, you will learn from this about the core aspects of your personality. So you will be able to see what parts of you are core, you know, the, that you have brought with you from past lifetimes, and which are new parts. Um, the core parts of personality are slowly changing through time, but at the same time, they can be changed. When we go through the process of character transformation, we can make changes in these core attributes as well. If some of them are negative, and it's inevitable that some of those core character traits are going to be negative, um, but in general it's the more positive character traits that are continued through incarnations. But 
there's trauma one can experience in life that, you know, has repercussions on the character throughout several lifetimes, okay? But again, those are within our control to change if we need or want, okay? So, this is really valuable <coughs> information to learn about one's own self, okay? So, the next gate in this uh, sequence is two triangles. Next gate goes from Tiferet to Netzach and then takes the hidden path up to Bina, okay? And then Cheth, the path of cancer, down to Tiferet, and then back around, okay? So what's happening here is we are seeing the influence of Bina on the the parts of character that remain throughout lifetimes. It's not all coming just from the solitary self. This isn't just the will of the solitary self that's being reflected here. That comes from Bina, you know? That comes from one's greater self. So we're seeing that the input, as it were, of the greater self in the character, the astral character, okay? So these are, you know, non-transitory influences, okay? Especially the ones from Bina. These are the, the deepest aspects of character, really. Um, yes, okay. And generally, these are aspects that we cannot easily change, we cannot easily transform these aspects of character because they are sort of fundamental. They're not really... Huh. Yeah, I'll leave that there. Okay, now the third gate starts again from Tiferet, goes down to Natsakh, and then takes the hidden path up to Kether and then down the, the path of Beth, of Saturn, into Tiferet, and then back around, okay? Now, this puts it, the whole personality, again, in the context of Kether, and that little, yeah, that little flickering flame, that, that little reflection that we carry within us, the part that it plays in the personality, okay? And this also is valuable information to know, okay? And these are the very highest aspects of character that are fairly universal for a human being, okay? So, those are the three gates. Today, the next gates will involve the path of Kath and Venus from Gedjula to Netzach, okay? So that's next time. See you then. Bye-bye.